All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back. You know, I'm be honest, call a little bit ignorant of me. It probably was, to be quite frank, but I thought this game might have went a little bit differently here for Ohio State, but Indiana played them tough. They played them really tough here, and they proved they're, proved they're pretty legit here. You know, if it wasn't for that slow start by Indiana, who, you know, is, from a personal opinion, it just looked like a team that... They wasn't prepared for the big spotlight. You know, they looked a little nervous. They uh, snaps over the quarterback head. They dropped a couple passes there early. You know, you take some of that stuff out. And this game might have, you know, been going to overtime. Or maybe it was going a different way here. It would have been interesting to see how it turned out. But instead, Ohio State prevailed here. And Justin Fields, man. Three interceptions. Justin Fields just threw more interceptions. Well, he threw just as many interceptions this game than he has his entire career in college football. So, I mean, there's no question about it. This guy struggled this game. I think he struggled more in this game than he did in... Well, he didn't even struggle, you know, I was going to say. But he played bad, worse in this game than the Clemson game last year. We would have thought, you know, a team with that kind of pass rush and defense, maybe he struggled there. But I thought he played exceptional in that game. This was just an outlier game for Justin Fields. I don't know what it was. You know, those three interceptions. The first one, if any of them were controversial uh, as far as throws, maybe you could have said that was the one where you know, the receiver could have, you know, cut in early, maybe anticipated a different cut there. But it looked just plain and simple like a bad throw by Fields. And those other two were more than, you know, no question about a bad throw. The man's over here evading pressure. He's like, let me just throw it in the air and see what happens over here. No. That was a bad. That was some really poor decision making there on those other two interceptions by Fields. Scramble. Just get rid of the football. You're the football or take the sack. Don't go out there and try to extend a play and be Superman and just throw it some more recklessly and hope for the best, which is what happened. Very uncharacteristic of Justin Fields. It doesn't worry me down the road. You know, every quarterback goes through a rough stretch or a bad game or two, and that just that appears to be it for Justin Fields here. This guy's been nothing but spectacular for the Buckeyes since he's been here. One game, not too much to be concerned about here as far as I'm concerned. On the contrary, though, let's talk about some positives. Master T going out, and I think he played really well. I think this is the best game he's had as a Buckeye, and dare I say it, <laughs> Derrick Henry, baby. You see the way this man was trucking people, running them over early? He was the bright spot of this offense early when he was struggling. I just love to see it. You know, the size of this guy. It's what you want to see out of him. He's just got that ability to run guys over and make big plays out of it. And I think he played really well this game. I was kind of surprised we didn't see more of him early with how, you know, Fields just kind of struggling. I guess when you have that first drive of the game, you get them big plays in there like that. You, uh, you want to continue to try to hit Indiana with that, kind of hit him with that kill shot, knock him out of the game early type of situation, which they had a chance because of the struggles Indiana had to start that first quarter there. They just couldn't do it. They couldn't put Indiana away. Teague, Teague played well. I think Olave did a more than exceptional job of being that go-to guy in key plays to pick up first downs, of getting open and catching that football and picking up those first downs. I think he played exceptionally well. The other concern, I shouldn't say the other concern, my biggest concern is the defense. You know, I think, like I said, I think Justin Fields improves. Master Teague's looking better and better as time progresses, but this defense gave up a lot of big plays. Very uncharacteristic for the Buckeyes. Their quarterback, Threw for 500, 495, 500 yards against this secondary, the Buckeyes. And that was tough. You know, I think you watched a lot of these big plays and it was always something glaring. You know, if it wasn't the one play where the guy ran into a zone, it was man to man. He went into a zone, just threw it over the top, burned him down the field. There was the other play where both DBs went out or followed the same player on the out route and they let uh, Fry Fogel down the field and just burn him. You know, their best receiver in this game. You got to find a way to cover him. You can't let him be the one that beats you or be the one that you don't cover. And that happened in this game multiple occasions. I think it was a defensive line that, you know, we get pretty spoiled over here at Ohio State. We expect a pass rush. We expect it a lot. We expect a lot of hits on a quarterback. You didn't see that a lot in this game. And, you know, that was, you know, part of the big play stuff. You broke down in the secondary. Not only did you do that, but you left their quarterback with a lot of time in the pocket there to just sling it down the field. You didn't bring that pressure. You didn't make it easier in the secondary. So I think it was, you know, I shouldn't say it was a complete, defensive breakdown i do think the run game was solid right i think they or run defense i think they did a good job of slowing indiana's run defense or run game down but indiana is not really known for that they're more of an air the football team out and the buckeyes struggled with that this game and they got to improve you know i think it's one of those things you have to keep in mind there wasn't you know it wasn't your traditional off season where everybody's practicing going through all the training camp like normal because of the covid restrictions and everything you know along those lines there and you consider all things considered i know it's november but that was the fourth game of the season for the Buckeyes. You know, it's a early and early on in the season type of game. You expect Coach Day to go out there and his defense to, you know, kind of come together here and improve by the end of the season as they probably will. 
But it was just one of those games where it was it was a sloppy game from the defense. All that being said, though, again, you know, just like the Justin Fields situation, he had a lot of turnovers, but he did what he had to do to win this game. You still seen, even with the defense struggling, they got that fumble recovery off of Ellis dropping that football there in the red zone. That could have got the game within seven at halftime. But thankfully, they was able to get that turnover there. And then you had the uh, Wade pick six. If it wasn't for that pick six, who knows where this game's at right now. You know, it's a seven-point game. He brings that one to the house. So as much as we're still waiting on the transition of Wade from the slot to the outside there, which, you know, he'll, again, it'll be a thing where I think he continues to improve at that. And that's part of his defense. You know, it's a transition phase, though. You got to wait to the end of the season to see where they're really at. But if it wasn't for that big play there, you know, who knows where this game is. So all in all, the defense, they still came away with some key turnovers to win the Buckeyes or keep this game in the Buckeyes' favor, I should say here. And it was a tough team. Again, you have to give all credit in the world to Indiana here. It's a team I think a lot of people are sleeping on. I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, rankings came out and they stayed right where they're at. Or even move it up a spot or two. You know, you look where Florida's at with one loss. I think they was lenient, to say the least, on the Indiana ranking. Afraid they, you know, they weren't for real. They came into Ohio State, though lost by seven points and they proved themselves they didn't give up they came you know they fell down a couple of possessions multiple times they fought back every single time here and this is a big win for Ohio State big win for the strength of schedule and really the the resiliency you know to turn the football over as much as they did to get beat as bad as they did on defense to still find a way to grit this game out it's a big win for the Buckeyes here in Indiana like I said you know props to those guys they're looking like a really solid program starting to turn things around over there in Indiana so the best of luck to them there in the future but for these Buckeyes love to see what they did today love to hear your guys thoughts as always thank you guys for watching we'll see you next time